Alright, hey everyone, this is um, part two of my tutorials on more advanced things for GarageBand. Um, a lot of people say that GarageBand is too simple or anything to, or whatever to do anything good with. But most people just don't know that much about it and it's not that bad if you think about it. Or if you get to know it anyway. So, um, this tutorial is going to be about how to use VST plugins and sound fonts. Um, there's a site that I use to get all my sound fonts from. It's called foxgeek.com. Um, I'll give you the uh, address in the uh, what do you call it? God, brain fart. Um, in the um, in the sorry, mm -hmm. whatever. Anyway, so the next thing that you're gonna do is once you've downloaded one, I'll just try one for fun. Now, usually the only ones that work are the ones that have the Fox Key thing, so I'm just gonna monkey thump thing. So once you've downloaded one, you can um, open it up, and you see the sound font file. You can put it on the desktop. Now the destination that you want to go to get this into GarageBand, I gotta quit GarageBand. So you want to go open up your Finder window. In the hard drive, you go Users, whatever you use, your user is. And then you go library, audio, sounds, banks. And that's where you put your SF2s. As you can see, I already have some. So then you open up GarageBand. And um, once you get it in there, you make your track. It's going to be a software instrument track. And... What you do is you go to the edit tab, you go to the sound generator up here. This, as you can see, is piano, because that's what the default track is. And you're going to click on the piano thing, and then you have all your different generator GarageBand modules, and then you have audio unit modules. Um, I just have a bunch of weird things that I don't even know what they are, because I used to download a bunch of them. Anyway, um, you're going to want to go to DLS music device and click on this little button here then it brings up this thing the QuickTime music synthesizer is what GarageBand uses and so that's a piano but if you click on the tab the drop down window you have all your sound fonts and here's the monkey one now they don't work all the time so we'll try this one so I'm gonna open up musical typing Um, and then you use whatever sound fonts that you have. Um, here's a choir. So I get all my SF2s from that site. And then, there's a lot of times there's reverb, you can adjust the tune, you can adjust the volume and the reverb. Um, and then, um, that's the SF2 way. And then there's also, um, delete this track um you can use vsts to many different things i'm going to use it on a real instrument just for example so i'm going to put in um let's see let's find a sound here i'm going to use Let's use a song from iTunes here. I'll use Beautiful by Egon. So, I'm just going to play it real quick. <laughs> You 
get the point. So then, I'm going to go over to edit here, and you can do this to a software instrument track or a normal track, and you're going to click on add an effect, and then all these down here are VST plugins. I have a lot, and, oh, I forgot to show you how to put them in. Um, you want to go to Finder, and you go to User, Clay, whatever yours is, Library, um, Application Support, GarageBand, or that's not it. You go to um, Audio, and you can go to Plugins, and VST, and Components, and also you can go to um, where is it? I don't know. There's a few ways, but that's the main way that you do it. What I just showed you. So you drop your VST plugin or component in one of those. Anyway, so I'm gonna add one of mine. Um, the top ones are Apple that come with it, and then down here, I'm gonna add one that I downloaded. So I'm gonna try. Uh, what should I do? How about this? Um, graphic equalizer. So this is just the v uh, VST plugin. So I'm loop this so I can, you can hear it. Try this, it's kind of weird. Let's see what happens here. Alright, anyway, whatever. So that's how you do VSTs and SF2s. Um, that is that tutorial. Thanks for watching. Um, the next tutorial will be on... Let's see. I don't know. I guess I just have to find out. But um, thanks for watching. Peace and have a great day.